பத்தஞ்சு முறுக்கு மந்த்ரா கடல் எண்ணெயில நானே பண்ணுது ஒரு சேலஞ்ச் உங்களால இந்த மாதிரி முறுக்கு செய்ய முடியுமா மந்த்ரா கடல் எண்ணெயில முறுக்கு செஞ்சு பாருங்க ஓகே மிஸ்டர் கண்ணன் சீனிவாசன் செந்தில் தியாகராஜன் ரங்கராஜன் பாண்டே ப்ரொஃபஸர் பாலசுப்ரமணியம் ஜோ டிக்ரூஸ் சேஷசாயி ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் அட்மைரர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ப்ரொஃபஸர் PKS Actually, I was a little hesitant to attend this function because I didn't have the fortune of knowing PKS directly, I mean talking about personally. <clears throat> But it is Mr. Kannan who made my decision making. He, he actually decided on my behalf and when he has called me and talked to me, I was not having the mind to say no. So I accepted it. So I came from Trivantra. <clears throat> See, one thing is very interesting and important. I am going to share some of my experiences with you. I used to be the vice chairman of the selection committee for appointment of fresh mechanical engineering graduates at ISRO for many years and Kalam was the chairman. After Kalam left to DRDO, then I became the chairman. One standard question, I generally do not ask many questions to the people who are going to be interviewed. But when somebody is hoping, giving some promising answers, then I will interfere. I will ask a standard question. Can you go to the board and write Y is equal to cos x? So he will go and write. He was probably wondering why the hell this guy is asking Y is equal to cos x, Y. He will write that. Then I will say, can you write dy by dx? <clears throat> he will still be puzzled, but he will write minus sin x. Can you please prove it from fundamentals? Then only he will understand why I asked the question, y is equal to cos x. And some of them certainly answer. If they answer, then I understand that he knows what he is talking about. I am saying this for the following reason. Engineering subjects are without mathematics you cannot imagine. That is where with or without an intention they called in the plus two level group A. I hope still it is group A for mathematics and group B for natural sciences or biology. What I am trying to impress you is without mathematics you don't have engineering. In other words, if you want to become an engineer, you should be good at mathematics. <clears throat> recently, not recently, about 10 years, 10-15 years back, whenever we are asked to do a project work in our engineering studies, it is actually demonstration of the various subjects we have studied. Applied Mechanics, Applied Thermodynamics, Theory of Machines, Fluid Dynamics, Heat Transfer. <clears throat> All these applications are interwoven and then you are trying to create a product either in the form of a thesis or in the form of a product itself physically. Then only you understand what is really the meaning of the word engineer. By not doing this, you don't understand or only, you don't even qualify yourself to be called as an engineer. Now, when this is the case, I 
I attribute for my promotion in my own career, my, I, I used to be good in mathematics. Don't clap. I never used to get less than 100 marks in all my years in the mathematics. Now, the, the whole thing is, I don't think that mathematics is, according to me, is not a difficult subject because you don't have to do the manapadam, manapadam you know, you know it or you don't know it. So that is a kind of subject. It is an interesting subject and it is something which <coughs> once you know it, you can never forget it. Honestly, I can tell you, even now if you ask me, what is A plus B plus C, the whole cube, I will be able to answer, which I studied about 70 years back. That is a kind of magic the mathematics carries. <clears throat> when I went to Princeton, my professor, Professor Louis Croco, he didn't want to take me as his student because he was already 80 at that time. He had a sick wife. So he was telling, no, 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 I don't want any. But I was determined to become his student. Don't ask me how. Because I have no other choice. I want to learn the so-called instability only from him, the father of instability theory. There is a croco theorem. Whatever I said, he will not budge. And finally, last weapon, I told him, Professor Kuroko, you have found out this instability theorem, isn't it? Yes, so what? No, I just want to tell you, many people whom you must have come across who have learned your theorem, uh, don't you know that they are all using your theorem for their own work? Yes. Have you understood that each one of them, can they, can they derive this theorem from fundamentals? He was just looking at me. Are you telling me you can derive it? I said, of course, yes. I went to the board and started deriving it. There, he, I got his consent to become his student. <laughs> now, what I am trying to impress you is, many, many formula we learn, but we are not really understanding and applying our mind in understanding what is and how it is so. Now when, so in other words, mathematics has become life of myself. So I found when Kannan invited me that there is a relationship between P.K. Srinivasan and myself in the extent of that we both like mathematics. He has taken mathematics as some kind of a not only passion, he has taken that as a duty, dedication. So he thought that he should teach the students with such a clarity. Actually, there are many subjects which can be taught in many ways. There used to be a professor who will carry two books on his hand, dictating one sentence from this book, another sentence from the second book, and all the people were taking down the notes. I found it boring, so naturally, I was not knowing what to do. So I started sleeping on the first floor, first bench. Then he said, no, 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 get up. I said, it is boring, so you get out. I said, I will go out. If you give me attendance, I will go out. He had no choice, I had no choice. This is one type of teacher. There is another type of teacher, one Parameswaran, I remember. He will ask, hello. If I hit you on your face and I call it as action, can you tell me what will be the reaction? Some people will say, I will hit you back. <laughs> but he will say, when I hit you on your face, you feel the pain, isn't it? Yes, that is a reaction. Can you teach action, every action, there is equal and opposite reaction in a better manner than this? So this is one way of teaching. I understand PKS had a style of teaching. And if I was a student of him, probably I would have been 
outsmarted many people whom have come across in my life. Because there is a way of teaching. Actually, mathematics is not at all a difficult subject. It is the problem is with the, pro with the teacher. <laughs> the, te the teacher doesn't understand mathematics, so he will find it difficult to teach. How can you expect a teacher who has not understood the subject can teach this, excepting dictating something from the textbook? So in that sense, I find that Professor PKS had his own style of teaching and he has developed a passion for it. No wonder. It, it is a slowly building up process. But then, naturally, when you are a mathematician and you are a mathematics teacher and you have developed a passion for it, the only person whom you can remember will be Ramanujam. So he went ahead started collecting. You see, Ramanujam was not thousand years old. It is not Tirukkural. It's about hundred years old. You know, it is Uve Samina there. He was collecting Sivaka Sindhamani, Silapadikaram, all those Uvale uh, Chavadikar. Collecting all those things. But for him, you would not have got this Aimbarum Kapiyangar. Please understand that. Now, I would compare PKS to that level. What he did in Aimbalum Kapiyangar, this person did it for mathematics. It is in a way, his appreciation, his admiration, his gratitude for a genius. In other words, it is a fate in our country. Generally, I am sorry to say this. We in India do not know the merit of some of our own people. <clears throat> Only a foreigner should tell you how great your person is. They may show in different ways. They know how great Komi Baba is, how great Vikram Saraba is, and in a way they also told how great Nambi Narayanan is. <laughs> so this is the fate of ourselves. You can't help it. But for saying this, I'm sorry to say this, but it is Alfo's faith accompli. No way. I will also add something more. There are school-going children. How many of you know from your own children's school books the life of some of the scientists in this country or some of the people like PKS in these textbooks? I'm sure that you may not have seen it because it, is not, it doesn't exist. Even, even in writing history, we don't take the pain of incorporating certain people's life. You call inspiration. What is inspiration? By looking at somebody's life, you something comes to you in your mind. Oh, I want to be like him. Now, that inspiration comes from the textbook level. We don't agitate, we don't, we, we agitate for many things, but not for such matters. I feel that it is time that we should learn how to recognize, how to acknowledge, how to be grateful for those people who have worked for you. This is important. Now, I understand since many people have told about the you know, being almost the last speaker, I have the difficulty because whatever I wanted to say, somebody else has already told. So you have to restrict yourself and find out some new things. One new thing is that, not new thing, but I understand, or at least it is my understanding, that PKS wanted, or he had a dream of develop a dream city, a mathematics city. And also he wanted his mathematics kit to be used in almost all the schools, free of cost to all of them. I think we need to do something for that. If it is not done. <laughs> See, there is no point in appreciating and admiring somebody. And that is the Tamil Nikola or Tale. But we don't bother about the action part of it. So somebody has to take the pain. All of us, me, you all put together, should take the pain of 
taking this forward to something. But also, I have a small suggestion which might be fitting in, may not be fitting in. But we have some dates marked as, for example, December 22nd. I don't know how many of you know that Ramanujam's day. Then August 12th, this is a very interesting story, library in Ranganathan. It is known as Ranganathan's dark day, but it is a librarian day. Without whose contribution, many of the libraries in different rural areas would not be coming into existence. And September 5th is Dr. Radhakrishnan's day, it is a teacher's day. A similar manner, November 4th can be Mathematics Teacher's Day. You should take the lead. Try to see how far you can go. But for me, honestly, nothing is impossible. Everything is possible. Only thing is somebody has to start it. With uh, this introduction, I just want to thank for inviting me and to share with you about Mr. Professor P.K.'s. I, I, I like it simply because I have not made time. I have not seen him. But there is an affection in my mind, only because of that I came, is because there is another person who loves mathematics. You know, if you love something, and if somebody else loves you, there is a bond which gets developed in between. So that way, I think we should try to do something about it. I once again thank Kandan and uh, Sheshasai and all those people. Mm. Incidentally, I just want to forgot to tell you, I saw the Tamil speech of uh, uh, De Cruz. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, and you know, most interesting thing is he comes from my district, Ovari. So that is very, very, very close to my heart. And Rangarajan Pandey, I know him very well. He interviewed me, he asked me very uncomfortable questions and all. <laughs> and uh, I told him that if you continue to this mood, then I will not uh, come once again for your interview. <laughs> then he became uh, very, very sober and uh, then he became very, very happy about it. So, these are all not total strangers. All of them are uh, in a way known to me in one way or other. Actually, at least for this purpose, I should thank those people who created the spy case. Because, because of that, only these people know me or I know them. That is why. <laughs> That's why it is. Anyway, thank you so much. I enjoyed it. It's a nice place. Nice. Uh, everybody, thank you so much. Take care of yourself. Bye.